Hello everyone, this is Karthik Silvaraj and in this video 5 of Mule ESP tutorials we will be seeing how to transfer a message from queue to file. So let's open AnyPoint Studio. So we will be creating a new Mule project. So let me name the project as Q2 file. Now I will press finish. Okay. So the queue from which we will be picking the message would be from Apache Active MQ. So we have different queuing softwares. We have WebSphere MQ, which is a product from IBM. We have Rabbit MQ. We have the Apache ActiveMQ. So for this tutorials, we'll be using Apache ActiveMQ. To know more about Apache ActiveMQ, you can see my tutorials on Apache ActiveMQ. So the first two videos will give you an idea how to install ActiveMQ and how to create queues in it. Okay. So to connect to a queue, I will be using the JMS node. So JMS stands for Java Messaging Services. So it's a protocol that can be used to connect to queues. Okay. So I will go to the configurations and it has options whether you need to connect to your queue or topic. In this example, we will be connecting to queue. I need to provide the name of the queue. So before so before that, we can go to the active MQ console and create a queue. So for this example, I'll create a queue call file and press create. You can see the queue has been created. So let us drop message to this queue. I click send and you have to input your message. So let us input uh, the football score. So now three and now man you might two three okay and I'm sending it so this message has been sent to this queue so to browse this message you can go to the browse and you can see there is a message over here so it says personal three and manager three so this is the content of the message so the name of the queue is file so let's go to new mule studio sorry any point studio again and provide the queue name and you need to provide the connector details as well so for this we are using active MQ, so we select active MQ. And this is your broker URL. I have installed the ActiveMQ instance in my local machine. So this needs to be changed accordingly to the machine that you are connecting to. Okay. So press OK. Let's save it. Once you save it, this X mark will be gone. And the next thing you have to do is let's have a file now to get this message to this. So in this file node, I will provide the paths, destination path where this message should be reaching. So I have created folder called file output so C file output is the folder in which the destination the message will be received so I'll show you the file output folder we don't have any files over here and uh, now for mule to connect to active MQ Q we need some kind of drivers like the ODBC driver we use to connect to database so for that we need the jar files that are predefined and it's available in 
internet so we need to download those jar files and update in our libraries so it is simple just type active mq jar maven maven is a repository in which you can file most of the dependent jar files so go to the maven repository site and now you can scroll down and you can see active MQ all jar bundles go to there and you can see there are many versions that are used so the act MQ version that we are using is 5.13.2 so make sure that you download the same jar files so this is the jar file that I need to download and press download so just click keep I have already downloaded okay now go to your save now go to your mule project and you can see that you have a JRE system libraries but so right click and go to build path configure build path and add external jars and you have to add the jar that we have just downloaded so you can see the jar getting added loaded and if you see that you will be seeing a separate folder called reference libraries under which the jar file will be copied okay so now we have the jar file which will do the which will take care of the connectivity part to connect to the queue to this JMS node okay. I will save the configuration and we have already dropped now let us try to deploy this flow can see the flow has been deployed now if I go and check the output file output path you can see the message being delivered over here and you can see the content of it as well and it shows arsenal 3 and manager 3 so that's all for this video so thanks for watching this